Hello guys, in this video I'm going to overclock the Ryzen 7950X using the AMD VBO overclocking technique. I'll be using the MSI X6700E Ace, but you probably have the same BIOS options, so you could apply this even on different motherboards. So let's get started. First, go to the BIOS menu. In my case, I press the delete button before the Windows booting up. Once in the BIOS menu, click F7 to go to the advanced mode. Please make sure your BIOS version is updated to the latest one and do the following. Make sure that OC Explore mode is set to expert and go to advanced CPU configuration and disable SVM mode for CPU virtualization and go to the AMD CVS, click on it and disable global C state control and IOMMU, go back and go to AMD overclocking Disable LN2 mode and go to Precision Boost Overdrive. Make sure it's set to Advanced and BBO limits to Motherboard and go to the Curve Optimizer. And from there, I've set all peer core. I've set the Curve Optimizer peer core and made all the cores as 30 negative. And then, once done, go back to the overclocking menu and enable the expo and high efficiency mode for the RAM. And I wanted to show you that I've left all the TG power configuration set as auto by default, so I didn't play with it. And then go to settings, save and exit. and press save changes and reboot now once the windows has loaded go to amd ryzen master software and you can see that the oc mode is set as precision boost overdrive and the curve optimizer to all 30 negative so now we can run cinebench 23 benchmark to check the score and stability on hw info software you can see that the temperature is set around 91 degrees celsius and it's not going above so the cpu is not thermal throttling which is good and the clock speed is around 5300 megahertz but what i found interesting in this bios version is that the clock speed for any core is not going above 5500 megahertz which is weird given that the cpu max core rate is uh, is 5700 so i'm not sure so now that it's done, you can see that the multi-score I got is 38,212, but without recording, I got even higher score, which is 38,688, which is higher. So I guess recording requires some processing after all, and that's why I got a lower score than this one. So that's a PBO overclocking for the Ryzen 7950X. It's a pretty straightforward and similar to previous generation. I've had the sitting for about a week and I've tested it in different situations like keeping the PC idle for 2 hours and it didn't restart at all or doing simple tasks like browsing the internet etc and it didn't cause a reboot as well so I think disabling the C state in the BIOS helped a lot in stability so I advise that you disable it in case you have any stability issue as well. Also above, I've included a card to another video where I show more settings related to this motherboard and CPU. So please check it out in order to have similar settings. So that's it for this video. I hope as always that you have liked it and enjoyed it and found it very useful for your build. And please, if so, like and subscribe to my channel in order to support it and in order to have the latest videos that I'm going to publish soon and see you in the next one.